What up? Episode 88, dude. Wow, just full right into Lindros, it. Yeah, oh. full Lindros mode. Shane Damn. just fixed the soundboard, dude. We almost were fucked. Almost didn't have the cast ever again. I, I, we're, we, we were, were completely helpless. We just scrapped it. <laughs> yeah. we like, That's it. We can't fix this board. <laughs> dude, so good to see you. I know, man. So happy It's been to what, see two weeks? Yeah. Wow. Now nah, less, but really? still. It feels like a while. It feels like it's been, dude, can't go without you. Me either, I'm dude. in New York just tossing and turning every night. I bet, just dude. Like, just ah. pulling the blanket. And I mean, you like, at least, you get to keep your schedule. True. You know what I mean? The real, the hard part is for me. You're well, out, you're, you're still in the city. I'm out, I'm out lonely in the darkness. You're dude. out in Terminator just world, dude. Swinging. Yeah, I'm, I'm chilling, man. Swinging in the darkness. I, I hate it up there. I go up there. I, I cross that bridge and I like go through my easy pass. I instantly get depressed. I cross into New York and I'm like, Whoa. Driving in is what gets you. Yeah. Driving you pass, in is All the like, scenery on the way up fuck. there, the weird fucking, those oil rig things, yeah. it's like... It's all hell. Unless I can get in a soprano mode, dude, where I'm like, woke up this morning. Yeah, you got to You got to get a stogie. And then I, yeah, but then I see the $12 easy pass, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Jesus Christ. 15. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I go through like two bridges, too. I'm in Queens. It's like, you two, wouldn't understand. What, how much is that to get there? You like, wouldn't understand. Is that just 30 bucks just to get there? More. Oh, my God. The turnpike up to... F- up to the city, just Jersey by itself. Yeah. That's oh, couple, I forgot about that. A couple bucks. That's some scratch. Jesus, man. And then cro- getting into the city, yeah. It's bullshit. Some of those bridges by themselves are like 15 bucks. I'm about to revolt. I'll fucking I'm about to occupy. Down. Dude, I'll did you see down. that protest get smashed up by bike cops? You sent me that, no. Oh my God, it's so fucking funny. Was that in Philly? Yeah, they were protesting the ICE headquarters. And they were like, you know, doing a little Occupy style. They had some tents set up. And they, they had like a bunch of... I don't know if it was sunscreen or what. It was like a bunch yeah, of shit probably. set up. Yeah, I did. Sunscreen. If you're protesting, you're pasty white fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they, so like these bike cops pulled up, and they started, dude. I was like, God, that's got to be so fun. They rolled up and started ripping their tents down, being like, back up, back up. And then you're allowed to put your bike sideways, and they go, give me two. And the whole bike squadron goes two feet forward. And if you're in the way, they fucking hit you with the bike. And then <laughs> there's all these people like. Oh, you hit me you hear a cop like I don't care <laughs> but one guy goes you love well, the boys in blue I fucking love my boys in blue Hell more yeah. than ever especially when I see them like busting them up dude yeah. it's so but this one guy he starts going buck wild this real skinny fucking antifa and he grabs a beach umbrella and he's like you fascist fucking pigs <laughs> and at one point he lowers his head like he's about to charge the fucking squadron of bike cops <laughs> and then his brat hog comes up and is like no come on we gotta leave we gotta oh go god dude she like he acts and he acted like alright yeah fine I won't charge this squadron of fucking yeah. armed cops he's like, you guys are lucky <laughs> yeah, dude, literally. I died for this cause he just like stopped he knew a camera was on him gave double middle finger and was like Fuck you guys and walked away. And then some other Antifa tried to hold the line. They were just like bonk and knocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably if you're an Antifa, you've probably literally never been pushed. Yeah, man. Like you've probably never outside of like a bully in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. been it's been so long since one of them's had physical contact. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, Antifa- in their minds, think of all the movies they've watched from fifth grade till now. They're oh like, oh man, all you gotta do is push and people fly everywhere. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's this, this, this diluted mindset that they have that they're tough. I don't know and where it's. You if, just if, get they, rocked. if they were to really go for the Civil War, dude, the Captain America Civil War, it's like, it's not a good matchup, dude. Antifa's versus like right. the milk sucking Heartland, dude. It's like, no thanks. It's all. Well, it'd be a battle of retards. True that. I was thinking that earlier about like it'd how be, fucking lame both sides would be if there was a Civil War. If like if you're strongly on either of those sides, you're such a fucking loser. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking about the strict physicality of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be thick boys versus weak it's, fucking thick pussies. boys versus fucking it'd exactly be thick dude. racists. It'd be versus plants pussies. that got a lot of sun versus plants that didn't, dude. And it's just that's yeah. a bloodbath. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're fucking gay. <laughs> and it makes me like a protest like that makes me love ice. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I see a bunch of faggots and tents out front of ICE, I'm like, dude, ICE is killing it. ICE rules, dude. ICE is the well, best. The, what was funny was, apparently... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm like, yo, get them out of here. Get them well, out of here. Apparently, uh, they were doing, like, a protest that, like, showed up at, like, one of the ICE locations, like, a house they were busting. 
And they're like, get the fuck out of here, you fascist fucks. And it turned out to be a uh, a sex ring. Like a sex oh, trafficking yeah, yeah, ring. Yeah, I saw that. That's and great. They're just like, yeah, okay, you guys get the fuck out of the it way, was please. The gayest fucking group of women ever <laughs> were the neighbors of this house. And they're like, we heard some noises going on. So they immediately made signs and protested. Oh, my God. The fucking neighbors. And it turned out ICE was saving people. Well, it turned out they had a, a fucking, fucking underage sex, sex ring next yeah. to them, and they're just like, "Oh my god, they're so fucking chill. Yeah. They're so no- our new neighbors are so cool. <laughs> they're such fucking losers." And they they wrote in chalk on the sidewalk like "fuck ice" and all this shit. God, like they just so- made it. It was like a spur of the moment protest. Ugh. And it turned out they were protesting when a they child dropped ring. The, when they dropped the bomb on them, just being like, "Yo, by the way, guys, this is a oh fucking- my god, <laughs> that must have been so nice." Oh, dude. Like it is you're separating a family right now. It's like no, we're we're getting this pedophile away from these kids. Yeah, we're returning them back. Uh, okay, like they just like start like spitting on the sidewalk. You're rubbing their foot in it. Like I, I don't like rape either. Well, either way, it's bad. Well, did you at least knock? <laughs> yeah, dude, they fucking stink. The I same love thing that. with uh, I was. Have you watched the break with Michelle Wolf at all? Mm-mm. Bro, bad. It's like you watch Nanette, right? Huh? Did you watch Nanette? What the fuck is that? Have we talked about Nanette? Dude, I've only watched on oh TV was Altered been, I watched like Altered long. Carbon and like sci-fi shows. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. You live the sickest life, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't like I see like <laughs> if I see like a show like that, I'm it doesn't even make it to my Netflix thing. I think Asian Aliens is coming back. Let me know, dude. Asian Aliens should come back hard on the Oh my god, yeah, don't even get me up. started. We'll get into that. But okay, right, yeah, please. So here, Nanette, you don't even know what this is? No. Some fat Australian lesbian did a con- Netflix special? I think I saw. I think you Dude. showed me that, and it wasn't her like her last special. It was her. She's she's like, oh, I've been doing stand up for ten years now. So she's done stand up for ten fucking years. Uh, yeah, which is nothing. Yeah, and then she's at the Sydney Opera House. You know that Sydney yeah. Opera House, the fucking national fucking yeah, it's humongous, amazing theater. Was that the thing you put on Netflix? Yeah, probably. I saw. I've that. been watching it nonstop since it came out. Where it's, she shows up and she was like, that she had the bit about. Uh, Donald Trump being broke and be like, how can you be broke when you own a casino? Or is that a different... It's, I mean, they've all run together at this point. Exactly. Yeah, it's I not. Can't. <laughs> but her, I don't know if that was her, but she was like... Oh, that was probably Michelle Wolf. Was it? I've been watching those two back and forth. Just the same Nanette shit. and Michelle Wolf show. And the thing that sucks is like, Michelle Wolf, let me definitely preface this. Not that it'll ever get to anybody, but yeah. like... When she was in Philly, I asked to open for her. Mm-hmm. Like, she's a great comic. She's really yeah. good. But man, that show on Netflix is the gayest pile yeah. of shit. Well, you got your spot, and now you put a knife in her back and stepped on her neck. Yeah, dude, dude. I got the spot. Yeah, but it's like I yeah. heard it sucks, man. I heard it's brutal. They just did an episode, and what reminded me of it was the ICE thing, seeing mm-hmm. protesters and being like, "Oh, ICE is sick." She yeah. did a thing about anti-abortion or like pro-abortion. Yeah, she's like, "If you're anti-abortion, you're anti-women," and like went on this long thing about it, and then did a abortion like parade like where she yeah. was the head of a marching band and she's like if you want an abortion get it and threw sparkles everywhere and was like instantly i was just like oh i guess i'm pro-life now yeah 100 yeah. percent. now i'm like dude don't ever get an abortion you sluts <laughs> immediately i'm like abortion's killing well, who's who's like on the fence about getting an abortion needs to see like a female comedian in the street parading and it's like thank you so much it's just a quiet operation. And then they it's cut like, to the audience. Fuck. It's just fucking chubby gay dudes that are like, yes, oh my God, Ugh. yes. Dude, an abortion in real life is just some lady like calling some fucking Chad and being like, <sighs> yeah, I'm pregnant. I got pregnant at spring break. Like, and it's like, are you, gonna cover, are you going to cover this? Or like, it's yeah. just like a negotiation. To like, I mean, at least 350 bucks. It's that, fucked up. That price came off the top pretty accurately. Six hundred for the tote, but yeah, you gotta split it in half. Dude. <laughs> you gotta be a gentleman. It's scary accurate. I mean, I'm not like I said. I'm against abortion. Yeah. I mean, if it's a woman's choice, so if you gotta fund it, you gotta fund it. But I'm I, that's the heavy heart, dude. If you gotta fund an abortion. I'd be like, Phew. if you gotta fund an abortion that you don't want, I disagree with that. I wouldn't what do you fund mean? it. If if I fucking tossed one into Caitlin. I'd be yeah. like, and she was like, I'm getting an abortion. I'd be like, I saw well, I'm you. not going to fucking pay for that. I want that. True that. I wouldn't, I'm not going to fucking kill a kid because I want to do fucking I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like a Tinder date. Tinder date, same <laughs> thing. I'd be like, She's yo. like, I'd, no, don't. Yeah, here. I'd be like, I love that boy. <laughs> but yeah, here's here's 200 bucks. I'll Venmo you the rest. That's all. <laughs> it's like, right now I got 68 bucks. It's, it's like a quiet thing that I think people kind of are like, uh, let me fucking keep that to myself. Yeah, and that's. I don't know why, why the fuck. Who. The, 
they're like going up against like religious nuts who stand in Planned Parenthood parking lots. It's he was like also yeah, retarded. man. Yeah, it's like yeah, of course. Yeah. They're not they're not stopping you from doing this. You're not like and if yeah. they do, they're probably stopping like if you're like a Mexican immigrant and you get knocked up by your novio, dude, you they might catch some of them and be like you're going to hell and they're like, "Oh, Dios mío." <laughs> yeah, true. Beep, you beep, could beep. you could trick them. <laughs> you could trick a good lass. <laughs> You're just like my mom, like, you're going to hell. And they're yeah, like, oh. Your mom's out front, just sorry. you fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, you slut. Sh- th- yeah, it's also, it's because the the point of the episode was because whatever justice that was, Kennedy, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, resigned, he resigned. And now she was like, and this is terrible because now Donald Trump might overturn Roe v. Wade. And it's like, dude, Donald Trump's not going to fucking get rid of abortion. No, definitely not. What the fuck? That's one. That's like, uh, like why? Why are we doing this? Yeah, they're not. They're never going to do it. It, always, makes, it makes everything Donald Trump, again. It's the same thing with ice and makes fucking like abortion. Him, dude. Now I like Donald Trump, dude. I'm telling Donald you, Trump's a fucking retard. And now I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Trump's the best. He makes me laugh so. F- well, this is what I'm like. I was getting. Me, I'm sorry, I keep fucking. Go ahead, go, you off. Get I'm in, excited. Get I'm in. just excited. Get, to see dude, you. get in there. Did you see uh, his Me Too joke? Yes. Yeah, dude, I Trump's saw that. The best. I saw it, dude. <laughs> I, dude. So I always I get the New York Times and the you know. Jeff, you get the failing New York Times. I get the I get the I get the snippets like the okay. like to my, my email so I can like get the rundown. I get Washington Post, you know, just Jeff Bezos yeah, is dude. fucking like you know his little propaganda machine, and yeah. then uh, <laughs> and I get the both of them. So I always open. I was like, it'd be nice for me to start following the news so like I can have like a little like rundown every day, dude. I open it up, and it's like Trump's ruining the world. Trump's ruining, Trump's son's a piece of shit. Trump, dude. Yeah. And I read it. I'm like, what the fuck? No matter what happens, there's it's forces Trump's are. Ne- and I always, I'm always like, oh, let's see what this is about. And I'm like. You know, leaders say say like the Korea talks are bullshit. People are complaining high up from an unnamed. It's always an unnamed source, always, dude. And I'm like, who do you think the source is? Dude? Trump doesn't think they exist. Eh. You, did you hear what he already predicted? What the failing New York oh, Times yeah. when, when they years? said Twitter? Well, yeah, Twitter's putting out things and like I think the failing does that include the failing New York Times and yeah, Jeff yeah. Bezos propaganda machine, the Washington Post? They'll be out of business in seven years. He's probably right. Well, someone responded like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos' papers aren't going to be out of business anytime soon. Point still stands. <laughs> dude, they're, dude, Debunked. <laughs> so I was like, I was going off onto that crazy conspiracy on the, the Great Awakening real hard. Yeah. And I'm like, let me rein it back in. I'm chilling. I, I still read the stuff. I'm not getting the cue drops to my phone. I'm, I've, I've, set, I've leveled out. You stopped getting the breadcrumbs? They come, but I, that, I turn off the notifications. I be and you can't turn down the sound. So if you turn them on, it just goes bloop. And you're like, fuck. You gotta check the breadcrumbs. You don't understand. I don't understand anything. But dude, you don't understand anything. You just no. Getting, I look at it. I was like crazy tests. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then the uh, dude, there's been two pro ISIS articles in the New York Times this week. Of being the one, the first one was being like, yeah, but you know the area they're in has pretty tough rule and like people, citizens like how they uh, do conflict resolution. I, I, yeah, you sent I me sent that. you that I read one, that. dude. dude insane. Two days later, there was insane. an article being like, "Now that ISIS is pretty much done, like in Syria, there's a bunch of women and children who like de- uh, defected from Europe and other countries, and now they want to come home, and no one, and like they're not letting them. Trying to do like the whole like immigration thing, like, and we're not letting them in. It's like, no shit. Yeah, they, they joined fucking ISIS, yeah. dude. Why the fuck did we let them in? <laughs> no. That's literally but, who we should not be letting. But in. The, the funniest part was they. Uh, they were like quoting the women. The women were like, "It's like we thought it'd be something totally different. We didn't know it'd be like this, dude. It's just like you guys fucking get. You guys rolled the dice hard. Yeah, thinking like ISIS could totally Snake win. Snake eyes, baby. <laughs> Snake eyes, big time, dude. Nah, now shit. They're, in a tent. they're like they've been deserted, but like the men have been arrested. So just women and children in a tent in Syria. Imagine if you're from Germany. You somehow got roped into ISIS. Now you gotta sit there with your daughter every day. Like, I don't know when we can go back home, sweetie. Uh, you're just sitting there, and it's like sad, but it's like you also joined fucking ISIS. You idiot. I mean, well, that's, that's again, that's going back to the line of are women helpless retards? Yeah. Or because if that's a helpless retard that got drugged to that tent, it's that's like, true. Bring the helpless retard back. That's but true. But is that a kick-ass, powerful Muslim? Woman? How do you test though? You have to probably watch. You got to sit them down in front of Michelle Wolf saying, if they're like, oh, uh-huh, yeah. She's like, all, like, all right, you, you kick can't, ass. No, you, you, no. You dude, if they love Michelle you Wolf. You kick ass, dude. You can't you come kick in. kick ass. Come, yeah, you're, you're stuck. You got to stay, Yeah, my bad. 
But then ISIS doesn't want kick ass women either, so it's kind of a fucking tough. Catch I wonder if they too. if their husbands got in trouble because their wives are so kick ass. ISIS was like, your probably, wife is yeah. super kick ass. Your wife is too uh, kick ass. We must uh, <laughs> stone. We must hit her with rocks. <laughs> Allah. Dude, I, I couldn't get over that one article I sent you that was, like, talking about how they uh, went over, like, neighborly conflict. It was nothing but, like, pay, they're, I love when those countries, like, like uh, he paid me uh, 4,000 Roblox for a chicken. It's like, dude, why don't you guys get fucking, Lower like, that fucking number. why do you need, like, $1,000 chicken yeah. purchases? Every country who sucks always has, like, it's like, well, you know, a glass of soda is, like, oh, 2,000 Roblox. It's like, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Turn it into a five dollar bill, man. Do what you gotta yeah, do. Stop with this space currency. <laughs> yeah, it's like forty eight thousand Republicans. Yeah. It's like, dude, just just lower that. Just take a couple zeros exactly. off. Exactly. Like, it's four eighty. It's four. <laughs> He's like, so I went back with the remaining three hundred fifty thousand Ruplex and yeah, paid the chicken. What costs one Ruplex? Who knows? What, what's like 50, 50 cents? I don't of think Ruplex. you can even do it. There's dude. nothing. I mean, if it, I mean, then I don't know because it's a chicken, dude. It was like. Goat controversy, like if my goat wandered and ate your grass, you'd go to yeah. ISIS and be like, "You will do something about this." You need to help us, the co- which is great because they were like, "Yeah," and the police wouldn't do anything about it. It's like, yeah, dude, they were fucking Syrian police. <laughs> they got fucking some big fish to fry, it's true. including ISIS. Yeah, that was their number one crime priority. Yeah, they were like we got to get rid of ISIS. Someone was like, "Yo, this guy fucking gypped me out of eighty thousand ruplex." Yeah. On this fucking chicken, and they were like, "Dude, we, ISIS is coming. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut ties on with that chicken. We got ISIS steaming down the fucking pipe right now." It would be like if the mafia started controlling the United States, and then someone wrote a thing like, "Yeah, well, like you know, like it would be like taking like Jerry Springer problems and being like, well, they were seen too.' Yes, it's like well, yeah, the guy fucked his cousin. And he like yeah. he got paid for getting hurt. It, it was like so fucking funny. Vice man. did a thing about that. Did like, they? inside? It was, I think it was, I think it was Vice, but they followed ISIS, and that's what they do. They they walk around and follow Sharia law. So like two dudes from ISIS that were like cops. Yeah. They were real friendly to everybody. It was real creepy. Yeah. They were like, hey, hey, don't smoke, don't drink. Chop your fucking hands if off. If you got caught with that, they would fucking murder you. They <laughs> exactly. would literally crucify you. <laughs> yeah. But they walk around the street like, oh, God, Allah, and so, oh, some of those, oh. like real smiley, oh. nice to kids. Uh. And then like the shopkeepers, you can see, are all like, oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, you get your head chopped off, and yeah. that's that was the thing. And even in New York Times, Sharia like, well, law. That's Sharia law. Yeah, there's... so it's like you you can't fuck people over in business. Yeah, you gotta fuck, like everything. It'll chop your they fucking need, hands you off. You need to run business properly, and like they look at your they look at your books. They're like, let's see your fucking accounting. What? And these dudes are like, yeah, here, here, please. You should go over there with a whip and do like Indiana Jones style on them, dude. That'd be sick. It's like, dun, 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 dun. they'd fucking do the sword thing and pull out the pistol. Yeah. I'd miss and get beheaded. <laughs> Ooh, here's one. This, this is something I caught. We're going to get off ISIS here because this pistol. Yeah. Uh, I was listening to Legion, or not Legion Skanks. Last podcast on the left mm-hmm. did a thing on Tupac and Biggie. Yeah. Pretty fucking sick. who they find did it? Uh,. Just members of the Crips okay. and Bloods. It, it ended up just being a gang war. So P. Was, Diddy didn't set up Biggie? Uh, P. Diddy was running his mouth around actual Crips. Really? They were like, oh, for a million dollars, you'll let us kill... Yeah. So, like, these guys were all rappers yeah. that weren't thugs. And then they got around real... They started, like, actually hanging out with real thugs. I feel like that happens in the rap and world. And then it just... It's, it's happening to Drake right now. Spiraled out of control. It's happening to Drake. He's, Drake's all he talks some, about is like murder, is, murder ransoms yeah. and shit. And it's like, dude, but uh, chill the fuck out. They were talking, and they did a weird thing that like movies do. Like, did you watch Notorious's movie? Yeah, I did. And same thing with All Eyes on Me, the Tupac movie. It's like yeah. they paint these guys as like innocent victims of a struggle that yeah. were like deep down good guys. Like we were joking about this, about how like at the end of Notorious before he dies, he's like. They're like, yo, let's go to this party. He's like, hold on. I got to make a few phone calls. Yeah. And he's like, ma, I love you so much. And then he calls his like baby mom. He's like, I'm going to take care of the child. I love you. <laughs> like all of a sudden he's a great guy before yeah, he yeah. dies. Uh, Dude, even Ar- do you watch, uh, did you watch Aaliyah's movie? No. I mean, R. Kelly was fucking like a 14 year old and they even put him in the movie being like, I love your daughter. And it's like. Statutory rape. Yeah. No one cares. But here's what really fucked me up was amongst all this fucking like Tupac was a great dude thing. Yeah. He killed it. He he was at a concert, I guess, and like was talking to fans and somebody started talking shit. So Tupac pulled out his gun, 
dropped his gun. When one of his security guards went to pick it up, it fired and killed a six-year-old. Shot a six-year-old That's in the head. Re- that really happened? Yes. Tupac's a sack of shit. <laughs> a six-year-old got shot in the fucking head. Because he was Because that like, retard had a gun. And he had to be like, yo, fuck you. He was you. like, yo, thug life, motherfucker. And he can't, he can't hold a gun, so he dropped it. Did he shot and a, a six-year-old boy got shot How does no one know that? I don't know. I mean, unless I got fake news by last podcast on the left. But even I doubt they, it. They I doubt it. They skimmed over that. They were like, eh, that happens. It's like, dude, let's stop acting like this is a good guy then. Yeah. He's a fucking six-year-old got shot in the head. And then he just, when, what point of his career was this? Early. What? It was, and he just carried I mean, was, on? Yeah, I think he went to jail for like a year, and then he shot. I two, thought he raped someone. I think he, they, I think he caught some charges for that, and then he got <laughs> so like he went to jail for a year for murdering a six year old. Yeah, inadvertently. Yeah, he got kids kid, slaughter. Kid slaughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we were both there. We both oh, yeah. paused and made <laughs> eye contact. We're like, there's a joke here. <laughs> um, and then he might have raped someone. Yeah, and then he got in a shootout with two undercover cops. He shot them. What was what business did he have with them? I don't know. I think that one, he was actually innocent. Okay. But this was on the... It's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the movie All Eyes on Me is like, look at this poet from the streets. It's, <laughs> it's like, like, look at this sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are we talking about? If I was in the middle of doing this podcast and I somehow like shot a kid and the head out the window, I would just be like, I can't do this. I'd have to quit. I'd have to go and live in like a monastery for the rest of my life. Yeah, or kill yourself. Yeah, I'd you be fucked like up. in Bruges. I'd be, yeah, fucking, yeah, I'd be fucked up. Those are the fucking principles. Yeah, if you kill a little you ever kid. You see it in Bruges? Yes, yeah, all sick. I don't remember it. There's so many movies I've seen, I couldn't tell you what the fuck they're about. What's that movie? Uh, Snatch. Uh, not Snatch. Uh, it's called Falling Down. The guy freaks the fuck out yeah. in the car. Saw it, couldn't Michael tell you Douglas? what the Michael Douglas yeah. is just in a car. And all I remember is he freaks the fuck out. No idea what it's about. I think it's about just a white man getting rowdy dude is it really I think he's fed up with people acting like fucking dickheads <laughs> and he fucking whites out and fuck, I think he shoots a Korean or something I forget that's why Gavin McGinnis dresses like that yeah Gavin McGinnis wears definitely wears that guy's uniform just because he's ready to fucking throw down yeah he's ready to fucking shotgun a fucking Korean his beard looks moment. his beard looks good I can't talk too much shit about the network, dude. You that's know, true. That's you know true. Me, that's true. Dude. Hey, man. Now that I'm, I'm fucking corporate as fuck. Now that you're plugged in. Compound Media, dude. What up? <laughs> Shout out, Compound. We had our first episode. How was she? It's not the same without you, dude. It's tough. I thought I thought it was just going to be They're like slide what we're right doing in. right now. I was like, dude, just, dude. Hit, just hit record. We'll just start talking. Live is hard, though, man. That fucking red light comes on. There's some eye contact around the room. Just like, oh, uh, what do we say? Fuck, oh, fuck, my fuck. God, dude. Yeah. Not having the safety net of being able to be like, all right, this sucks. Cancel yeah, it. it. True. Even though we're usually one take. True that. And it's but, usually not that bad. Yeah. But like, I'll go back and like, that was pretty good. But still, it's nice to be This able to... was, you I guys, was like, we don't really need to prepare. Tough takeoff. We needed to prepare. Really? <laughs> yeah. First Did we say hour and a half? It, it was like an hour and 20, hour and 10. Yeah. Around an hour, the guys in the producer's box were kind of like, all right, let's... Uh, that's fucking there, there, yeah, there it is with the wrap it up. I was like, oh, shit, shit. Oh, we're shit. done. We're fired. We're fired. I was like, you guys ever cancel a show after one episode? The, the guy comes on the intercom. He's like, not yet. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a fair one is off to a rocky start, but we'll get it back. Yeah, of course. I watched it again. It ended up being funnier than I thought. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. You're in the captain's seat, dude. I was doing what I do on this. Yeah. Like, as soon as we're done, I'm like, that fucking sucked. Yeah. Delete it, delete it. Delete it. And you can't. It must kill you. Yeah. Can't delete anything. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I said some things i wish i could take back you know really nah, nothing i think uh i'm i'm going i think rogie's someone got to him dude yeah did you hear how people are calling him out mainly just For alex jones right? no i'm talking about he's like starting to go the other way he's just being weird really alex jones called him out you know how he used to like chase bigfoot a year ago yeah so we'll have people on his podcast and someone mentioned george soros he's like oh come on get out of here and i got back to alex jones and he i think they mentioned george soros being a nazi and Jones or Rogan was like, "Oh, stop being ridiculous!" Yeah. And then he got back to Jones, and Jones called him out, being like, "Yo, someone got to Rogan. He's he's been compromised. <laughs> he has been compromised. But he he has been he's been different. I've noticed. I'm sure he's just trying to step back from all the fucking exactly. Shit. He's well, definitely I, taking it back because it, he's been having fucking retards on his show. It's Not career. Retards, it's career. You know no, I, mean. I well, he almost had Roseanne on. Yeah, and I think that ever since that, he's been kind of like. I think he's also like he has liberal stuff at heart, but he just you know he goes. He's like us. 
We're pretty much Joe Rogan. Pretty much. I mean, I didn't want to say it, but we're pretty we're much. We're pretty right. much Joe Rogan. But he, you could tell he's starting to get thrown off, dude. He, what the fuck did he say? He was talking to this guy. He's like about pretty much how like Trump's gonna win, and the guy was like, "Yeah, he probably will win 2020." And Rogan was like, "And like, and he, I could watch him. I, I know it from podcasts." And he's like, "Fuck, I don't want to be stuck in Trump's dick this hard." And he was like. Yeah, but he has to figure out that shit with those kids, man. Like, you can't, like, that's separate a, That's another one, dude. Kids. That's another one. You can't separate. It's just, it's not us. And the guys are sitting across from him, like. Yeah, it's the law. Okay. If you break a crime, <laughs> you get separated from your family. Well, well, the other that's thing, what happens. The other thing that people don't realize is, like, a lot of that's DHS stuff. So it's like, if your house is fucked up in Philly, they'll come take your kids. If you're pulling them through the desert with, like, coyotes and shit, they'll also come take your fucking kids. So yeah. it's like, it's not like they're just kind of like coming on a boat with like, if Pop has like a pipe hanging out of his mouth and he's like, it's going to be wonderful. It's like, yeah. they're coming out of thorn bushes, like, shh, some yeah. guy's like, get the fuck they're out of here. They're giving kids birth control to take with them because they're going to get raped on this journey. Really? Yeah. They find kids that came by themselves, like little girls with like plan B. Oh my like God. A tw- like a fucking 12 year old. And they're like, my parents gave me this because that's what happens on this fucking journey. I wonder if that'll be Coco part two. Definitely. <laughs> a bunch of skeletons raping people. <laughs> a bunch of skeletons raping little girls on a train. Like, oh, yeah. Viva Mexico! <laughs> yeah, that's, I've heard it's like real fucked up. I heard like pretty much like 75% of girls who come over get raped by coyotes. Well, I wonder if those are the same stats that white college chicks in America are going off of. True that. Like one in fucking one of us are going to get raped. <laughs> Um, I watched an interview with this guy who's like the head of ICE down there yeah. or fucking Border Patrol. Yeah. He did an interview with CNN. It was fucking sick. He killed it. He gave him the business. This, did he really? This white lady was like, I need you to denounce what's happening down there. And he's like, you don't, you don't know what's going on. You have no idea. That's true. He's like, these people are fucking savages that are coming up here. Not obviously the families, but he's yeah, like, yeah. the people we're trying to help, like fucking make sure it don't get in yeah. there are monsters. Yeah. Did you ever watch Queen of the South? No. It's just a cartel show. Sick. But it's like the, the shit that they do down there. So, I mean, plus, too, the, the, they like own the police down there. Like, there's so much yeah. fucked up shit they can do. It, heard I, they got Justino Trudeau from Mexico, dude. I heard they got a you fucking... You see that fucking picture I sent you? No. I sent you that picture of how fucking gay Trudeau used to yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, dude, it is exactly what I knew like, he would look like. I know. No, I was talking about... Such um, a fucking wiener, dude. Mexico's... New president's like Mexico's new president is like L Trudeau. Yeah, he's talking shit. He's a new Trudeau. Oh my god, dude. dude! There's a picture of Trudeau with, I mean, it's impossible to explain, but just noodle arms holding up a fucking beer. He looks like he's sitting on someone's shoulders at Lollapalooza '92. He really does. He looks <laughs> yeah. like Kevin Federline. Yeah. He's dressed like Kevin Federline. He's got like a beater on underneath an unbuttoned white shirt. He looks like the lead singer of Smash Mouth. Unbelievable! This guy fucking Trudeau fucking sucks. He does, dude. I wonder if that's a real picture, but if that is, it looks like him, dude. Yeah, it's I I can't I've been trying to get off the fucking conservative news cycles. My YouTube now, all it is is like Ice Member owns fucking this and there's the other guy, some some other dude used to be a prosecutor, him owning people and like just apparently Clinton Hillary's been flying a commercial now. Has she? There's a video of her and Bill on a commercial flight just sitting there like this. People think their uh, funds are frozen. Funds are frozen or are they trying to run again? I don't know. And they're like, we can't keep flying private if we want to look like the fucking liberal leaders. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Trump's it's, it's a funny video. Shoot them right out of the sky, dude. That's easy money. Dude. If she tried to run again, imagine what Trump would do to her. She's not going to. There's no way. They're going to try to prop up this fucking uh, the hot chick. What hot chick? The hot chick who won. No. She's from fucking Queens. Yeah. In the Bronx. That's your dude. fucking leader? That's my fucking leader. Did you vote for her? Of course I voted for her, dude. You see how powerful and hot she is? Yeah, dude. She's, she's hot as fuck. She's on the, she's, she was like Rosario Dawson. Yeah, she's hot She as was fuck. on The View, dude. It was so... That was the sickest think tank. She's like, that, I just the think view like... Think tank, dude. She's like, well, what's your political thing? She's like, I just think like everyone should be treated with respect. And everyone's like, yeah. Yes. Finally. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, she like, kills me. The way they've... Yeah, whatever. I don't want to fuck Yeah. Her. But that chick's absurd. She's hot. She's hot. And, dude, she's my fucking Viva Revolution. Oh, dude. dude. She's so she's sick. She's my Che, dude. She's so sick. When, when Che is bae, dude. I can't wait till McDonald's revolts, dude. You think McDonald's will revolt? Oh, uh, McDonald's, Home Depot, everyone's going to revolt. 
It's just going to be like a ton of aprons. <laughs> You're just coming out. <laughs> like, I'll give you $12. Like, all right, deal. Fine. We're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going back in there. Um, you want to take a little break? Yeah, let's do a little break. I got a boat. Steam and... Oh, we back. We're back. I was just bragging to Matt about how sick New York is. Yeah, we had a little off the record. We had a little off. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, we can't give it all to you. We can't be totally public in our lives. No way. But uh, Not yet. True. We just got to get 24-hour cams. I would watch you. <laughs> I would watch you go about your day 24 hours. Dude, I was just kicking around. I was painting a Chinese restaurant, an old Chinese restaurant today. Oh, God. It was so fucking foul, dude. I was literally... I didn't know what the name of it was, and the whole time I'm painting, I get, at one point I thought, I'm like, that'd be sick if this place was called Mouse China. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole day, I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking funny. Couldn't tell anyone. I've been waiting all day to say this. You've been waiting for that That's joke. been fucking in my th- my turbo booster all day long. How disgusting was that Chinese restaurant? It was just mouse shit. Like, dude, I, I couldn't even use drop cloths because I didn't want to get mouse shit on them, so I had to, like, dexter out the room in plastic and just walk around, and as I would, like, paint, like, little ledges, and I had to just go, like, Phew blow mouth shit off it, it was I'm gonna get the haunted virus fuck. dude it's disgusting do you think that's how Asian people live like that no but restaurant wise yes I mean that, that's what I meant do you think that's how they conduct business I don't know I was thinking about that's what I was telling you today I was like I think if you come right from Chinese Chinese yeah and you open up a restaurant and you see a bug it's not as like code red as if like you've been yeah. fucking you know breathing the American oxygen for a couple for a couple of generations True. that freedom gets in you but then again, I worked in a pizza bugs. place one time. I worked in a pizza place one time. Not going to name names, but it was pretty fucking nasty. Was it Mouse dude. Central? <laughs> yeah. Is that where you drowned? That's where I had to kill mice every day. That's where you drowned mice and soda. Every day for like three years. Yeah, every, no, for oh, three months. God. What's I wrong with you? How are you going to kill a mouse, dude, that's on a sticky trap? Smash it. With what? Flip the paper upside down and stomp. As I was doing I was A-Town stomping them. I, I eat down stomp the first one and like you stomp. You, <laughs> you stomp a mouse's head I was like man this That's is sad, fucking yeah. you feel that little crunch that tiny little skull dude I love those guys too I like I them really too I really like them I like them too but it's like hey, yeah you gotta get off the stick and you can't everyone's like oh, I would've washed them off the sticky trap dude you can't dude. those limbs are fucking legs are fried off. Yeah. yeah, they're totally fucked. You gotta stomp them, dude. You gotta eight down stomp. <laughs> so then that's when I started drowning them. I, I hold it. I would hold the trap in there and hold them in the cherry wow, coat. They like fucking resist. I didn't look, dude. I did, you could feel that thing fucking wiggling a little bit. Oh my god, dude! I wanted to get them in like a tiny little car and put like a floss around their neck and fucking <laughs> soprano them, dude. <laughs> Just be like, we're taking a ride. Don't worry about it. You would put them in the shotgun and <laughs> sit behind them and fucking. Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I was in there all day. Like, God, this place is so fucking foul. That would take it out of me killing mice like that. I would actually Dude, be sad. That was the first thing I did in the morning for literally three months. Yeah, and Come you in. were high, right? Most likely, yeah, yeah, for the most of the part. So it's like I'd walk in, kind of stoned to work, and th- th- it wasn't like I had a manager as a girl. She wouldn't touch it. She'd be like, "Oh my God, ew!" And I'd be like. Yeah, right. I'm getting, you're getting the big bucks, and here I gotta fucking handle matters of life and death, dude. I gotta sit here and fucking. You gotta you're fucking you're lowly man, dude. henchman, dude. You're the ice man. And then I'd have to cook. So I'd fucking like kill mice and go back in, fire up the grill, and I'm like, all right, let's fucking, let's get this going. So they would, when you would hold them in the cherry coke, you could feel them. You feel that a trap stop wiggling. Yeah, trying to they'd fucking... like, they're probably drinking as much as they could. That is for a mouse, dude. That, I know this is your theory. Is that that's the best way to kill them? I mean, for a mouse, dude, they probably just open up their mouths and there's everything. They probably just ascend it to heaven, dude. They probably fucking, they probably opened up their mouth. Honestly, it probably burned the shit out of their eyes and they went straight to hell. That was hell. You sent those poor mice into hell. Dude. No, they tasted that cherry. They suffered Think about just that. Just so you didn't want to fucking stomp their head. Stomping the eight town stomping them would have fucking helped. It's. It's just like that. You get you look at the step of, on a mouse's head and check out the bottom I, of your I shoes, know, dude. I know it's horrific. I'm sure. I'm just saying they probably open their mouths, dude. And we're, like mouse, mice don't really get access to soda that much. They're more like crumbs, cheese, vegetables. They're probably like, what's this? <laughs> you think it was a nice animal? I mean, they form? usually drink. Yeah, they usually drink like you know when like puddles, like cars leak into a puddle. And it's like oily rainbow puddle. Yeah, that's what they drink. That's what they drink. Hon. You think they drink that? That's what they're drinking on. They're sipping on that. So they fucking sipping ice cold cherry coke. <laughs> <laughs> ice cold cherry coke. <laughs> That'd be sick if they didn't die. If they were just passing out and waking up like an hour later, like I had the most fucked up dream. Dude. Some retarded guy <laughs> held me underwater. <laughs> Some retarded guy dunked me in a delicious drink. <laughs> I don't know. I guess if 
If I could pick how to die, I think that would be it. Drown in trapped on a glue trap, and then someone just dunks me in soda. And die in my hand. <laughs> I mean, I've actually this isn't more of this isn't really a death thing, but I've had a fantasy for as long as I remember about filling a swimming pool with Jello and jumping in, seeing what happens. That'd be pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, you could dive right in, or just I wonder if it would like hold you if you'd sink to the bottom. I think you would die. <laughs> you think you'd die if you jumped in Jello? A pool. A swimming pool, yeah, eight feet. Yeah, you drown. I'm not white. I'm not talking about some above ground bullshit. Above I'm talking ground about jelly wrestling. Jello wrestling would be tight. That would be. But I'm talking about doing like a cannonball. You're on talking the jello. cannonball straight into Jello. <laughs> How are you going to swim to the top? I don't know. I think you're just stuck and you die. Nah, you fucking you just wiggle out. I don't think I don't know. You're like a worm. You just activate your worm muscles, dude, and burrow through. <laughs> I can I think, get out. I think it would be like quicksand. Jello. Yeah, I think you would just be stuck in there, like just trapped in it. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> like, <you're> just, <laughs> from, like the mosquito in Jurassic Park, <laughs> <they're> just <laughs> stuck in Jello in a swimming pool. That's true. Well, you probably have people on hand. You probably have like handlers. If you have enough money to fill a swimming pool with Jello, I mean, it's like so, a pack yeah, of Jello is ninety eight cents. Please contribute to the Patreon. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just let Matt ever get money and see what happens, dude. He's gonna be the there's, first guy to die from diving into a pool of Jello. There's a, definitely a force of the universe against me that like completely wipes. If I have money, it just goes goes straight to zero. I, I get wiped out because I'm saving up for Jello pool. I always wanted to get billboards of just me being like no agenda at all. It's being like, it's like yo, what up? Big like, yo, what's up? Welcome to Philadelphia. And I'd be like, what the fuck is that? Welcome to Philly. Or just like, I would just put pictures of like my family, like a family picture of me and my mom on a billboard. That'd be sick. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Yeah. 12 G's a year, bro. Just a bad, a bad, why did my voice crack? Just a bad picture of you up there. Yeah, just like a That'd picture. Be just like a shirt. I was just like a shirtless flex picture. <laughs> or like a candid, like you're not even looking. Someone just snaps a picture of you. Oh, it'd be awesome. It'd be sick to post. It'd be so fun. And people just drive by and be like, what the fuck is that for? No way to find out. It's like, I know that guy. No way to find out. That'd be fucking tight. That's all I want to do. If the Patreon gets us enough, we'll get a billboard. We see twelve Gs, dude. For no reason. But it has to be hot. Yeah, you can't, you can't uh, have agenda. You can't yeah. have an agenda. You should or just, just put, put up like a swastika. A, huh? You just put up a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, welcome to Philly. We're Nazis. <laughs> Get in here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to run as the National Socialist Party. Just be like... <laughs> you, you would get fucking shot in the head after like probably, a week. Nah, I'd win, dude. You think you could win as a Nazi? No. You, you and Hitler both have very strong public speaking skills. True that. We're both very, we're both highly flatulent, too. Hitler was very flatulent. Flatulent? Yeah, he's flatulent. Yeah. He's flatulent. He's very flatulent. <laughs> he was flatulent. He's flatulent in six different languages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh you I could see you running. For national for socialism. National socialism. Did you see the the uh, taxi socialist. driver who got in trouble for wearing a Nazi armband? As he should, but go ahead. <laughs> what happened? He was here? this Dominican guy. Oh, and nice. he was like, Innocent. No, oh, no, I'm a national socialist. It's different, man. He's like, that's the Nazi symbol. He's like, that's what you call it. He's like, Well, what about the six million Jews who died in the Holocaust? He's like, that's not true. He's like, well, if you do a little research, he's like, are you saying it didn't happen? He goes, I'm not going to speak on that right now because that's a long conversation I cannot have. And they're like, well, do you regret wearing the Nazi armband? He goes, I regret, I regret mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> uh, yes, dude. Imagine he pulled you, he pulled up, he's wearing a Nazi armband. He's, just, <laughs> he's like, like, no, I'm, a, he's like, I'm a democratic socialist. And he's, and he's, or national socialist, yeah, yeah, yeah. excuse me. And he's Dominican. Yeah. I'd be like, dude, that's the sickest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> it was pretty the sick. The fucking black Hispanic Nazi. That's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's the best ever. He was the interview and was so and funny. And what was he doing? Driving a cab or He was Uber? driving a cab. It was a cab. It was a while ago, I think. And he was just wearing a Nazi armband. And they're like, he's like, hey, man, you know, I thought I could do that. I thought I was free to do whatever I wanted here. Yeah. And they're like, nah, can't rock the Nazi armband. Uh, well, that sucks because you could definitely wear a hammer and sickle. True. That's just left versus right. Dude. I'm very pro Nazi. Well, that's where I get lost because I didn't know. So I thought social. Skull, dude? So national socialism isn't socialism. No. What is it? I don't know. Isn't it just like it's Nazis? It's, it's, just, killing it's, Nazis. Just, it's just Nazis, dude. And cousin <laughs> business is a boom. I love how the guy, his sole thing was like, well, you know, this meant different things in different cultures, and it's like. For sure, dude. Yeah, dude. I heard that in fifth grade. Yeah, for sure. But like, you definitely can't rock the Nazi armband. But American fifth grade is definitely a doctorate in the Dominican Republic. American fifth grade? Yeah, as far as education levels. You heard that you're, wait, you heard that was different. I didn't, I only learned that from Ancient Aliens. 
What, that that symbol was... Different shit, yeah. Like Hindu or some they shit? They never told us that. Really? In our fifth grade Catholic school... I didn't learn it in class. In our Catholic school, common... fifth grade, they were like... And then Europe was fucked up. Hitler actually increased the job rates. And then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Trains started running all the time. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's all we learned in Catholic school. They, my Catholic school was a Holocaust denier. That's fucking sick. No, that'd be sick if it that's, a, that's another one, dude. Any pushback against Catholicism, I'm instantly like, dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Catholic dude. Church rocks. I never, I never go. I like, rocks. Dude. Compared Debutate. to every other fucking gay religion, what do you think the worst religion is? If you had to guess. I mean, you know where my mind goes, dude. What, what do you, you think the worst this? one is? Muslim, dude. I fucking hate it, dude. It's I fucking like, hate it. Don't think you know that here. this is like the fifth episode <laughs> that we've asked that back and forth. Which one's the worst? Like, well, well, obviously Islam, but I mean, I have to be honest. I'm like, oh, what can I think of? And I'm like, you think Islam's the worst? I, I'm against not even the worst. I'm just against anything that makes you wear ridiculous shit. What do you think the Amish? You like fucking the Amish? ridiculous, Why dude. Fuck is my voice cracking? Can't stand them. The Amish. The I mean, dude. The Amish are the fucking shit, dude. A lot of fucking touching going on in those places. No, I don't like the Amish either. They're the fucking... weirder the clothes you wear for your religion, the more touching going on. Think about it. That's fair. Every I mean, clergy, how could you yeah. not? If you're like even the priest, dude. If you're wearing yeah. a bishop hat, three feet high, and you have a cane on, you're like, dude, I could fuck I, I'm anyone. A wizard. I, I can, can fuck. I'm anyone. a wizard, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck the soul out of this boy. <laughs> that must go to your head, dude. Walking like that, and everyone's just like. You see all the old ladies rock star on you, being like, "Oh my god!" Dude, imagine wearing a fucking goofy outfit like that, and then just seeing your community show up, and every single person's like, "Cool, that's yeah. acceptable." What you're wearing? What you, what you talking about? Like, just like if you wore a fucking cape and a hat right now <laughs> and walked outside, I'd be like, "Look at that fucking clearly retarded guy." Yeah, exactly. But the one person in our society that gets, to, other than black people, that gets to dress like a retard and it's socially acceptable. Yeah, clergyman. Oh, yeah, for you sure. You just get to dress like a fucking psycho. Well, they, and everyone I, in the room is like, this is standard operating. When, they're, when they're in the when they're in like the mass you're talking about? Yeah. And you're walking up and down the aisle. Oh, everyone, dude, it's, it's crazy. Normal dudes are looking at you just like, yep. <laughs> cool fucking outfit. <laughs> you have like two little boys with the cross in front of you just walking down. Yeah. You're just fucking... This is how I live, dude. Full fucking Xenon, dude. Yeah. Fucking this is down. how I roll, dude. <laughs> Like an Avenger. That must be crazy for priests to like get into it and then like halfway through just are like, yeah, this is all bullshit. And then like they still got to chuck the garb on and walk down and be like, oh, and just looking around as being like, God damn. I'd have a panic attack halfway through. Yeah. Some old lady coming up like uh, sticking her tongue out at me and I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? Ew. Yeah, that's. Uh, you see you, all the money you hear that in? racism I tossed in in the What'd middle you of that? I was just saying how black people get to dress goofy. They can wear some wild shit, they dude. They can wear goofy shit. I would live across the street from, well, now one black church it was two. Yeah. They, they're they're uh, they're touch and go sometimes. You could literally wear goofy shit. <laughs> no. Like I, you could wear a shirt with goofy on it. I saw a dude yesterday. He was old as fuck, dude. But he was like 6'5", and it was just like straight out of a western. I don't know where the fuck. Every now and again, old black dudes go super cowboy on you. Really? They go super cowboy or sometimes like... I'm trying to think what the uh, not Mr. T, but they'll dress like almost like a like a crocodile Dundee type adventurer character, like a warrior. The you no, know, they'll wear they'll wear like a big fucking like crocodile Dundee hat and like a fucking cut sleeve vest, and you're just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> dude, when black dudes get weird, when black dude, when there's like shit black dudes wear that other black people are like, bro, what the fuck yeah. are you wearing? It's on the next level, yeah, dude. It is. It's like I saw a guy the other day dressed like Bayou Billy on my guest <laughs> <laughs> Dude, black eye outfits are so fucking funny. I mean, all you got to do is just wake up in the morning and just like stretch your t-shirt and stretch your sweatpants and make it the same color. And everyone's like, damn, dude, yeah, you're fresh you as good. fuck. Dude. <laughs> My Lyft driver today was wearing like a maroon v-neck and like maroon shorts and went like a maroon do-rag and picked me up. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing, man? You don't have to match that hard. Yeah, dude. That's, I get uh, I get flack. I mean, I, I should probably, you know, I should probably start matching up a little bit, but I get flack because I'm in like... I wear like shitty clothes and my girlfriend yeah. fucking freaks. You're not going out like I that. I was thinking that too. I was like, when, as soon as I get a little money, I'll, I'll be able to dress at least normal. But what are you going to wear? But for now, I wear I dress like a fucking psycho. When I day. was married, my ex-wife, who was also black, used to dress me into some like wild shit. I remember like, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Like, and she'd pick my clothes out. And I remember my little brother would be like, dude, you look like a fucking Cuban cartel boss, dude. <laughs> I'd wear like linen pants and like a double breasted button down shirt. And just be like, hey guys, thanks for coming to my yeah, house. And they're like, like, what the fuck are you wearing? You're like, Napoleon. 
You don't get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I used it's... to wear, I used to rock some whacked fucking shit, dude. Dude, does anything get you going like seeing an old black dude dressing conservative? Just dressing like when we were down south, in, man. Tucked in, buttoned down into some dungarees. Dude, we were down like south. A fucking, with like a keychain hooked onto the fucking a nice belt janitor loop. fucking oh, loop. Gets me going every time. If you're a black conservative, you have to have a janitor loop. You must. Dude. It's part. Of, you it's have a, a bunch must. of keys, or, or you just got to suit out and be sleek if you're younger. Suited out. I don't. You, I don't. That can go either way. That's like for YouTubers. Yeah. If I see a good True. fucking black dude in like a. Button down, tucked in, some tight Levi's. I get stoked on I'm, black dudes I'm at Home Depot. In. When I see black contractors, I'm like, "Fuck yeah, guys! Yeah, let's get it. Let's build. Let's get this fucking money, dude. I love it." But yeah, the uh, when we were down south, we saw all the black dudes dressed like my dad, and I was like, "What the yeah, fuck is right. this? Just a pair of like tucked in fucking like fishing t-shirt." Dude, that was a sick tour. <laughs> We just swam every day in <laughs> shitty hotels. <laughs> Literally swam every I, day. I would like pull up and be like argue with the Indian guy. Like, cool, man. I know it's September. It's hot as fuck. The Open the pool. pool. <laughs> and then me and Matt would swim. <laughs> <laughs> they go fucking bury this weird dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. Dude, I got um I didn't tell you this. I got my hands on an Xbox 360. But the only reason I got it is I got the just dance. And the oh uh, the God. dance games. You're so fucking good. So I'm learning how to dance now through Xbox 360. Dude, I fired it up. I was like, I'm going to try to hide this and work. I, I do. I, I can't. I go out Why with Why are you dancing? Don't dance. I, but it causes, every time it starts to fight. She's like, let's try it. I'm like, she's like, come on, let's dance. I'm like, dude, chill the fuck you out. Know what? Honestly, that's really sweet of you. What? To buy the Xbox like 360? she wants you to dance. So you bought, I, you bought a Xbox 360 Just Dance video Exactly. Game and dance And try to hide it so you can dance privately. Exactly. But There's, I... I couldn't. I was getting texts from Craigslist numbers, being like, "Yo, are you coming?" or whatever. So she was like, "Who the fuck is that?" I'm like, oh, "Fuck!" You bought an Xbox, just dance off Craigslist, <laughs> yeah. and the and the and the thing. So we went to do yeah, it. So I was like, "Huh?" To pick like the sensor, dude. I'm, I saw my fucking my thermal reflection. Do you ever do you see that thing yeah, to connect, yeah, yeah. dude? I was like, "My oh, fuck!" I'm look, I look fucking swole right now. I was in it. She's like, "Will you knock it off?" And then you danced. What'd you dance to? Like Katy Perry or? in the club. In Duck Love, dude. <laughs> that uh, Sierra's Holy one two step, fuck, dude. dude. I was so bad. I didn't realize. I'll, usually, I'm always drunk when I dance, and then like I cut back drinking, so then we'll go out, and it just bothers me that like I it's just all mental. I can't do it. Yeah, you shouldn't. You're a guy. Well, that was the other thing too. And you're not gay. We're at like we'll be at like a fucking backyard barbecue, and she'll be like, "Come on, dance with me." And I'm like, "Dude, fucking no." Yeah, but now this time you're gonna be able to break out a full. Length song dance, but I can't. You gotta a see the choreographed dude, fucking you, dance by yourself. <laughs> you gotta, see you one two step. You gotta see the dance. You gotta see the dance moves. We were doing it last night, and first of all, our apartment's too small, so we went to do it. It was only picking up our head and arms. <laughs> we had to angle it diagonally. I oh, did it with your girl. Yes, yeah, so we. God we, damn. Dude. Then, I, then I was like, oh no, I got you a gift. Blah, 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 blah. We need to turn this off. My girlfriend's gonna hear this, dude, and be like, we don't do anything. Like, it was fun. I'll say it. it's yeah, fucking that's a sweet fun. Thing. It's fun as shit. But then we start doing we start doing uh, competition mode and it's not picking her up because like our apartment's too small. So of course she's made it competitive she, and then beat her and made her upset. I tried to, dude. So we're going and then it's not picking up her feet and I I had like a chance and then she stepped on a piece of glass. I, I you know little piece of glass in the carpet, cut her foot and in my head I'm like sick, dude. I'm gonna yeah, fucking go over it. Yeah. Like, she fucking wrapped it up with a band aid. He came back with got like four hundred fifty. Got back on the flow. Got four hundred fifty thousand. I got like a hundred ninety. And then what I didn't know is, in the middle of the dance, they go freestyle, and you're on camera, and you have to do it like a bunch of dance moves. And then after it's done, it gives you like a playback of it, dude. Oh no! I'm and just I'm just like a Frankenstein, dude. Just like I would have started like tapping my feet around the motherfucker. <laughs> I was like a crab, a crab that got discovered. Yeah, I was just sitting there yeah. like, dude. It- <laughs> That was you ever my see only a crab dance. on the? You ever hit a flashlight on a crab yeah. on the beach and just like <laughs> take off? Yeah. Hilarious. I didn't know what to do. I just started just like shuffling my feet. Dude, I haven't I haven't danced if, like that. If you were to beat if a, if a white guy beats a black lady in a dance contest, oh my god, it's it's over. I can't wait to serve her, dude. You're gonna serve her eventually. I do. I hope I do. While she's out, you know, doing her job, you need to be working every day. That's, I'm trying to get sick of this. Well, I really I have to, I have to give credit. My my boy Wes was the one who told me about this because I was like, your he, boy was like, yo, you need to learn how to dance. No, bro. no, no. What you need to do is buy <laughs> oh, no. an Xbox 360 off Craigslist. He's and a salsa. Play just he's a salsa dance. champion. 
He's a salsa chick. We I took a free salsa class when You're I was a friends with the salsa king. Dude, he's my ex roommate. He's a fucking salsa king. Yeah, he's dude, he's salsa monster. He's a dude. fucking Ray. He's salsa? an entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur. He's wow, probably a millionaire, dude. But yeah, he's he does probably salsa. Millionaire. Probably a millionaire. I shouldn't even be on here. He's a, he's a, he does salsa. So I remember when we he was my roommate all through college. Dude, you this is insane. He, what's happening? You got it, dude. Hear the whole story. How have you never told me this? What that you have, you're out fucking dancing? What do you mean? What, what do you I mean? I just started this what up. What do I mean? Are you talking about the Just Dance or the fact that I took a salsa Everything. class? Everything. Everything involved there's, in this. There's so much, dude. I don't. It's all fucking buried, dude. I gotta. I gotta access my white hot center. I can't. I can't get to it all the time, dude. Right, I'd be so fucking what paralyzed. Happened, shut up. What happened, <laughs> what happened with the salsa king? So there was free salsa at Drexel back when I was a Drexel student, and he was like, "You got to do it." And I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, I'll do it." When people tell me like, "Yeah," I'm like, "I have." When I, I'm, I'm like allergic to dares, dude. I, I have a hard time not doing them. So he's like, come on, man. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, this would be sick. I get in there, and then the, the fucking teacher is this guy named Buster. This fucking bald black dude. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> well, he was, he was like, he was cool, but it's like, you're in a setting. It's like almost with stand-up. We're like, imagine if you went to stand-up, and no one has ever done stand-up before, and you're just like, boom, 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 you're killing yeah. it. So he's just like. You were, you were killing. <sighs> dude, he literally, everyone's, he was being patient with everyone, and then it was my turn to do it, and he goes. What the hell is that? He's like, why are you jumping off? Why are your feet leaving the ground? <laughs> <laughs> you were jumping? Well, my feet, dude, I have too much fucking soul, dude. I was bouncing, dude. I was, I was cranking soldier boys, dude. <laughs> He's like, why are you bouncing around like that? And I was like, what are you talking about, dude? Fucking. <laughs> Do you, like, so instant dance call in front of the whole class. He was like, all right, never do whatever he's doing. Don't ever do that again. He goes, dude, I don't know what, what the hell is that. And I don't know if I can help you. He's fucking crushed me. Then my friend was like really good at it. So I've had it, you know, I've had it, but he's like going on and he, he does it all the time. He's a, he lives out in California. He does salsa, dude. <laughs> oh my God. So I was telling him so about got crushed the, in front of everyone. The whole class, dude. He was just like, I don't know what that was. Blah, blah, blah. Well, no wonder you're in your head about dancing. You yeah. Have an extremely traumatic experience. You're trying to crank that soldier boy <laughs> at a salsa class. I'm trying <laughs> to crank that. Dickhead. I was trying to. I thought I was Mr. Worldwide, dude. I was out there like, Daddy, yo. I was, I was just like shuffling my feet around, dude. You trying love to do dancing, this. dude. <laughs> you really love I do, dancing. But I'm so. My, usually, the only time I dance is at a wedding. Yeah. And I religiously, I'll get stoned and drunk, and then I have a blast. Yeah, you dude. cut a rug. I'll be like next to my mom, like, this is so fun. <laughs> but, dude. The last time I was dancing at a wedding, I was all fucked up, and uh, I remember it was Backstreet's Back, all right, and I like whatever that song's called, and yeah. I, I like turned, I was like getting real into it, and I was like, "Am I sexual?" And I'm like face to face, my mom gyrating my hips, and I'm like, Ugh, "Oh God, uh, I'm gonna go sit down." So now that you've done Xbox dancing, how do you feel? Bad. You feel bad? I'm bad. I didn't know how bad I was, dude. Oh man, they had an Xbox singing thing. Did I tell you about I this? would crush that. I, I was, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, yeah, you'd be surprised. Hey, I, that's look. I know my strengths and weaknesses. Dude. Yeah, I know the my way strong they keep score is, I guess, how you follow the notes. Yeah, you have to match. Yeah. So like, you don't have to be that good. You just have to be like, uh, uh, uh. true. Like, it's, it's ridiculous because I'm a great singer. And you weren't you weren't catching much. <laughs> I was in Germany, <laughs> and this fucking I was at my friend's like teacher's Christmas party in Germany. What were you singing? So this dude comes up because then we had karaoke. Yeah. After me and all these German teachers, after the video game, after the party. Oh, okay. And the way they did karaoke was this like PlayStation Two oh, karaoke God, video so game fun. in this like classroom. So all these teachers are getting fucked up, mm -hmm. and this dude comes up and he was like, "I would be honored if you would sing with me." And I was like, uh, "All right, cool." Like I thought he was. They were all very serious. Yeah, of course. This wasn't like a fun party. These were fucking Germans. Like in front of everyone, they would sing as hard as they could. Like every, it's my turn, and now. everyone would clap and be like, "This is very good, yeah." What very the fuck? impressive singer? And then, uh, so this what were they singing? This dude was throw like, the Jew down the well. <laughs> throw the Jew down the well. Uh, this this dude was like, "Will you sing with me?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was a little I was a little fucked up at this point. Yeah, of course, but, yeah. So I get out there thinking it's gonna be like karaoke where we fuck around. I mean, you you saw me sing karaoke yeah, on that yeah, southern yeah. door, you're, dude. You're, I was like, "Ow." Where what was a London dude? Tower Seven was an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> That's still, oh my god! I think I still have that video saved. Video is great. I think I still have it saved on my Snapchat. Hilarious. But this Jesus guy, Christ, so we get out in the middle, that. the middle of this Christmas party where I was like the honored American guest, and we sing fucking, uh, fuck, I forget the name of it. It's like how's it uh, go? 
If I just lay here. Oh my god. If I just stay it's like here, Justin Mraz or something. Just forget the world. But, uh, so me and this dude sing this like oh, man. seriously. Yeah. Like I'm standing in the middle of that, like really singing, and everyone's like straight face, like yes, very good, yeah. I got fucking crushed, dude. This if fucking German say. smoked me. He smoked me in English. Did he Songs really? in English. He Jesus was like, Christ. very good. You need to work on your singing. Ha ha ha. I was like, dude, you just talk shit, dude. Oh my god. You're in fucking WW three right here, dude. Yeah, exactly. I'll fucking fuck this whole school. Fire! Up. You should have leveled the fucking like, town. You remember what you guys did? <laughs> <laughs> You remember what you did? <laughs> oh, my yeah, should God. should have firebombed them. Should have Dresdened out. You should have, dude. Fucking I would have fucking flipped, dude. I don't like that Slaughter shit. Slaughterhouse Five, that whole fucking town, you should, dude. You should have. <laughs> if I just stay here. Oh, my God, dude. It Germans was, are... I mean, I've met... Germans are how weird. many Germans I've met. Like, straight up Germans, two. One of them is a chick. Super, like, new age and, like, yeah, very cool, very cool. Uh, America, Germany, I like both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the one guy, when I was in Brazil, there was a German engineer. And he was, was such a crowd. stiff wad, dude. Yeah, German such engineer a fucking is, like, stiff wad. I mean, that's a fucking SS officer. Yeah, dude. He's he, from there ill. Seriously, dude. Yeah. He was such a fuck. It was like, I don't get Are you making fun of me right now? Like, I would start yeah. fucking with him. And he'd be like, oh, is this a joke at my expense? It is unnecessary to perhaps exterminate some people <laughs> if a society is to succeed. It's like, whoa, dude. That was when I was in Brazil. That was the first time I met English chicks. And like, as soon as like I heard them talking, I was already drunk. Like leaving the airport, we stopped, got something to eat, stopped, and went to the place, and like a van picked us up to the hostel. And I was like, oh, you guys from England? I'm like, how about a wanker then? And they were <laughs> yeah, just yeah. like. Excuse me? That's not yeah. very nice. And I was like, oh, okay. I thought, was, thought that would crush. My when bad. I was in, uh, when I was in Spain, <laughs> I was at this hostel, which there was this British chick from Birmingham, which is like, that's where you get that real fucking like, in it, got nah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That yeah. Accent. yeah. She was full on like, that was how she talked. It's I like was John like, Lennon this mouth. is the most ridiculous lady I've ever met. And she was oh. a fucking animal. So I have a few drinks then, in it? <laughs> All right, got nah. It's like, Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that would be like party time to meet English people. Like, hello, how about a wank, yeah, Dan? Yeah. And they were just like, excuse me? Yeah, well, you said, how about a wank? <laughs> it's <laughs> like, hey, how about you jerk me off real quick? <laughs> hey, me too, dude. Yeah, fucking you Brazil. me too, those kids. Those hot British kids. I was like 19. No, no, I was 21. I, could just, I remember I was just uh, yeah. on the drinking Well, then you're allowed to meet too, anyone. I thought it was chill, dude. Mm. It's too. When you go down to Brazil, it's so fucking nuts. In turn, like, the women there just want to go back with you because they're American. And like the shit they say, so they're like, "You look like Bradgy Peach." You look like Bradgy Peach. And I was like, "What?" I had no idea what the fuck. Were they they're... fucking toots though? Were they fucking prostitutes? Dude, I Were told some toots trying to fall in love with you. There's a lot, and it's hard to tell. But there's also just chicks that are just kind of hanging out. Yeah. I mean, there's there's toots playing the long game. You know what I mean? They're just yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. the longer. I remember I was like talking to this chick the one time. She's like, "I love the snow." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, Snow, you from, it's cold in America. I'm like, not all the fucking time. I was like, I'm not just going to bring you to my you fucking moron. house now if you like the snow. <laughs> but yeah, dude, when I, was in, when I was in Brazil, it was like... You should have brought back a Brazilian prostitute. <laughs> See how she handles the snow. Yeah, really. Yeah. Fucking, that would have been tight. Bring one back and fucking be a chili pimp. Make a wife out of her. Nah, I'd be a chili pimp, dude. You'd be a Pimp with one hoe. It's a chili pimp. That's a chili pimp? Just post up at Denny's, dude, and be like, what's up, bitch? Yeah, dude, well, a lot of people bitch. bring back women like that. I know, I know at least one guy who brought a chick back from the Philippines, and like a lot of times they come back and they think like they think Americans are rich, and like they come back and see like your house and are like, "What the fuck?" Like fuck. a lot of dudes get left by their fuck. fucking bring home wives. Yeah, because they just they hit here and they're like checkpoint B. Now to find actually a rich dude, it's like. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what's that guy wearing jeans? He's loaded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I, like, you would, you, in Brazil, though, out in Rio, like, you sit there. I, was, I remember I was, like, eating a bowl of soup right along the beach. <laughs> and I'm, just sitting, I'm sitting there eating my sopa, dude, just chilling. Yeah. And I'll, I used to get a churro every day. I would come back from the beach, buy one churro, because I would print out that money, and it was two to one back then. Yeah. And it, it just looked like fake money. So I would print out a bunch of money, and I was, like, give it to little, I gave out so much fucking money. I was getting cash advances on my credit card. <laughs> just balling. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I remember I was eating a bowl of soup and I was like, oh, those chicks are hookers. There's like two of them. I think they're hookers over there. Literally getting into my soup, look up. 
there's just 25 by the wall. And if you make eye contact, dude, it's on. They're fucking sitting down. It's like, like a stripper. Uh, yeah, but like, like you want to dance? They're, it's like a stripper would be like, you want me to suck your dick? And you're just like, <laughs> can I finish my fucking soup, dude? But yeah, they're they're over there, man. They're over but there. Germany had. Uh, they're over there in droves. In Hamburg, there was like a red light district. Really? Like, yeah, there was a block. Germans a are very block sexual. That was a red red light district. What? And I just walked through it. I was like, I gotta see this shit. They're just standing in the window. It's They're wild. Better man and then than they me. have prostitutes have like a specific jacket. What? They would all wear a bubble jacket. It's pretty tight. Yeah, so you knew who the prostitutes were. Because they had a bucket. So like a- the Germans love labeling people with clothing. Uh, yeah, it's true. It's the Star of David and the jacket of slut. The slut jacket that <laughs> yeah, actually translates to the United States. They were the hottest chicks I've ever seen. If you see These a chick jackets, damn dude, they were gorgeous, hot German chicks. I feel like with you see a chick hair. in a bubble jacket in America. They're probably all like Slavs and fucking Czech. You chicks. think so? Yeah, they were just beautiful. Yeah, damn. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Do they like stand in windows like they do in Amsterdam? Yeah, they. I mean, the red light block had windows like that. And you'd walk by, and they, if you again eye contact, keep it, it illegal. Like, come over here, come over here. I'm like, dude, I can't keep talk. it illegal. They're Trump. like fortune tellers sitting in there. I'm dude, I I can't have something like that here. If I was walking down the street and a, like a prostitute, a known bubble jacket was like, come here. I'm like, I love you. Ah, damn it, <laughs> dude. I told you before. I fucking before I had a girlfriend, it's like I didn't really see the point of like I would obviously you know I'd work and try to save my money, but like. I would make money and then I'd go to a strip club and it only makes sense. I'm like, I have to go give this money to a naked girl. There's nothing else I can do with it. What else is the point Especially if it's like, all right, I have, say like I had like 900 bucks, then I go to a strip club and spend two and I have seven. It's like, there's no, there's nothing in my head to be like, oh man, fuck. It's like, oh, okay, now that I have seven and then I yeah, give it yeah, to that yeah. chick and I touch her tits. Sweet. Everything's going well. It's like, <laughs> it's just, that's just I business. need to be. I need to be under the direct supervision of like female rule. You need to have a broad telling you to fucking dance to Xbox. Something, and I gotta, I gotta keep it at bay because if you if you give in too fully, they just totally steamroll and then destroy. Then you're fucking you. a bitch. What the fuck? Okay, I thought my phone just destroyed or my laptop went down. Yeah, where are we at? Time was an hour. Whoa, Shane, that's fucking uncanny. We like literally. No, really. Just hit an hour and one minute. Oh my god. But that's that's. I, something. I mean, come on. At this point, you got to be like, dude, he's got to be checking his phone or something. Not uh-huh, no, just man. this internal clock. I, I, literally, dude, you're like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> a dog. My dogs at eight thirty are like they come up and they're like, oh up, bro? man, that's how Time to eat. that's how Katie's dogs are. They know. I went over there today to let those boys out. Riggins and Zeus, dude. dude. Some of the best months. I'm still I'm still tripping on this thing about getting steamrolled by your babe. You can't. I'm it's the saddest you. thing in the world when you see somebody who's let their bitch steamroll them. Just fully do it. And then they, they, just they, they, they catches fucking losers. The babe doesn't even like him anymore, man. That's what no one, nobody talks about the female Once ego, you break dude. a horse, dude, it's just like, put them in the pen. I don't care about them anymore. Exactly. They like that stallion. That one that's tough to break, dude. Dude, I mean, shit, you want to get into this? It's like, I wonder about this all the time. Because it's like, it. <laughs> well, no one talks about the female ego. It's always the male ego, male ego. But there's a weird thing about, the, not even the ego for females. But no, it's it's like there. for sure. It's they the do have an ego. ego. No, I mean, for sure. When they go to fucking bridal showers, of course, and fucking the ring and this baby that. showers. I'm talking about like ring and- I'm talking about inside of a relationship of the whole thing of like you know, there's it's like common you know knowledge like you know the first month or two you're having sex all the time, but then if it's like if you're in that relationship and you kind of destabilize the whole thing, the pussy starts fucking. They fire up. They throw some coal in the oven for that, dude. It's like once it's stabilized, the pussy kind of dies off. So it's not even like if it's been going for a long time. If you jostle it up a little bit, pussy steams. You wake up. it up. Yeah, exactly. It's like the fucking steam room, the coal room in the Titanic. A bunch of dudes, a bunch of Irish immigrants start <laughs> shoveling coal right into that pussy. Well, I mean, wonder because it's like whenever I'm in a relationship and I'm being a real good boy, dude, and everything's going pussy well, and I'm working, down, and I'm bringing screech and halt. It's weird, man. And then as soon as I'm like, man, fuck this, and I buck the system. What do you think I'm coming. doing, dude? I bucked it hard. We were living together. Dude. I was like, dude, you can't contain this Bronco. <laughs> nah, every time just, I see you him. You just I'm birth like, yourself yeah, out dude. of a vagina, dude, into the world. <laughs> it's like, I got to do stand-up. I got to pursue my art. I'm going to do a podcast. <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm telling you, man. That's something I've noticed when I got met. My first marriage, dude. I love saying that. My first marriage, it was the most off and on, off and on thing in the beginning. And as soon as we got back together... 
It could also do have something to do with breaking up like six times, getting back together. Eventually, they, you know, you kind of lose your trust. But <laughs> like, yeah, you jostled the pussy too many times. You can you can break it it's for like sure. Shaking a magic eight ball, you, can, you were shaking it every yeah. time it would come up like pussy. You can, you can finally hit him on drama overload, dude, for sure. But I'm telling you, man, whenever I'm being such a good boy about that, I'll notice I'm like, and then you literally have to come and be like, please. Did you have sex after the just dance? I think I had it before. That has to be a sex-worthy fucking activity. I, I, you know what? I think the, that day early, but again, begged. At one you point, fucking, she, I think she likes to fuck with please. me too. I was just kind of like, come on, like walking around her underwear all day. Finally, I'm like, all right, you know what? This is fucking. You're like, Get over here. You bitch. I was like, Wait, come, come here. on, because if you ask, like, please, they're just kind of like, I mm, guess. Yeah, well, that's gross. You got to fucking take it. I don't know how to do it. It's like I, know, <laughs> I try not to bitch about it. And then I'm like, I'm not going to hold in my cum forever because I turn into a psycho. Yo, so shout then, out Frankson, by the way. Yo. He's holding in a fucking wad. Dude, I I told you, I had, I had five days on me. I, I've been fucking like going off on people, dude. I, had five day, I, can't, I can't hold it in. I fucking. Who did you just go off on? Not the Home Depot. There was somebody else you spazzed. Ooh, the car. Oh, dude, I fucking. Uh, shit. I wild yeah. out the Honda, dude. You I Honda, wild the fuck you, out. That was just you holding in cum, just taking it out on some fucking service. I did have a lot of cum. I had rep. a lot of cum. <laughs> you know what sucks too? And then I'll get real mad and I'm like, I get a jerk off. And I'm like, ew, that's Whoa. fucking disgusting. Because <laughs> well, yeah, a- well, it's like, I'm so mad. <laughs> some dude made you mad. You're like, I got to fucking cum now. <laughs> well, it's even, usually it's like if I'm mad like at my girlfriend, I'm like, I should jerk you off. And I'm like, ew, you fucking loser. No, nah, like, nah, if you're mad at your girlfriend, that's a solid move. Yeah, Crack but one out and then see how you argue. Once that fucking steams out, once that coal's out yeah, of that vagina. Yeah, sometimes, though, you can fucking, that can flip. Sometimes you might come real hard, then you're like, shut the fuck up. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck do I need you to shut up? <laughs> That's Sometimes my patience, where if I'm jerking it hard all week, and it some, brings up some bullshit, I'm just like, dude, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. My I need love a little for bit you of is in a tissue <laughs> in the trash can right now, dude. Do not talk shit. <laughs> She found a pair of boxers of mine that I that fucking, fucking unloaded <laughs> in. She's like, "What are these doing here?" I like, I must have just like thrown them in a hurry somewhere. <laughs> and I watched her like carry them, and I was just like, "Please don't touch! Please don't touch! Please don't smell! Please don't!" And luckily, they ew, were, you think it smelled? And these things, I mean, they, dude, yeah, it could. Yeah, I came into a towel the other day and like hung it up to dry, <laughs> dude. I walked into the bathroom, it hung it over my shower to use again. I walked, it, I was going to use it as a butt towel. So I walked in. You're going to get cum in your butt, dude? My cum. So I was going to send it right back, dude. <laughs> so you think your butt would absorb it and just recycle the cum again? Definitely, dude. For sure. That's why that's gay guys are so jacked, are... dude. Yeah, that's why they're so fucking swole. What, because they swallow cum in their butt? <laughs> yeah. And now they're jacked? Did you ever see them at the beach? Gay dudes are ripped. Did you ever see them? You know how they fuck? You know like there's a big thing with like gay guys at the gym fucking in the showers? It's a problem. Yeah, Wood was talking about that. Yeah, man. Hilarious. It's, that's like I a... love the idea of shower, like bringing a hose in to fucking separate them like dogs in heat dude you gotta fucking spray them with a hose i mean it's gotta be instinct like if you see people fighting you're like whoa whoa, whoa. if you see two guys fucking in the showers party that's like yeah well, come on stop stop, stop knock that off <laughs> stop <laughs> someone's gonna get hurt knock that yeah. off <laughs> this is bad this is bad <laughs> but no man that uh gay dudes fucking at gyms is sick oh man it's so fucking rugged no, i went to the gym in queens by my house it sucks what happened? It's fucking New York. It's you didn't packed. fuck anyone? It's packed with people. Oh, dude, it's probably insane. Fucking hellhole. You should have chilled, you should chilled in the showers. There's a fucking sauna, though. That's where the fucking goes down. I almost went in, and then I looked around. I was like, Jesus Christ. It's just a bunch of Adonai? It's a bunch of fucking, no, it's a bunch of lads naked in towels. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Get in like, there, dude. No, I'm not getting in there. Sweat with the boys. No. I played, uh, I went to an LA fitness when I was in Los Angeles once for like vacation. I played basketball, and it was just me and a bunch of just Wouldn't it just pure... be called a fitness then? Yeah, it was just called a fitness. <laughs> Dude, it was just me and a bunch of just like jack tall models. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It was hilarious. And then, I, I swear to God, I think a lot of them were on testosterone stuff, because like they were freaked the fuck out. Like, that's a fucking... Fa-! And they were spaz... It was like hot guys spazzing on each other over calls. That's where Tommy works out at this gym. Where? The fucking same one. You, that you went to? The hot guy gym. It's just a fucking hot dudes working out. Any hot babes? It's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure. I only went in there once. Our water got shut off. They were doing construction on our street. So you went in there to shower so I up. went in there to take a dump. Hit the fuck. <laughs> They're going to join the free membership. I done a free trial at this gym to take a, take a, a shit. That's a nice move. How long does the free trial last? I think it was just one day. How expensive? The gym's got to be so expensive. Yeah. Fuck. And it's just... 
absurdly hot people because especially during the day because no one has jobs so it's just like yeah artists actors just getting hot as fuck just hot as fuck in there damn dude no no one literally no one in new york looks like me there's no (laughs) one in the city that looks like me it's crazy really yeah everyone's either hot as fuck or homeless that's true that's That's crazy that's pretty fair and they're all fucking stylish it's so gay yeah everyone there every single person everyone gets super fashioned out I'm walking when around I was doing gym doing... shorts and a fucking t-shirt and people look at me like, look at this fucking Sasquatch just walking through. <laughs> it's crazy. I get on the subway, dude. It's insane. That's hilarious. Homeless people look at me and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you wearing? You, wear, you start wearing bit. like that's white beaters. That's just a bit. You start wearing on. white beaters, dude. I've, I've, been, I've been wearing You should start wearing do rags, dude. You should, should go, go, you should go crazy. full as fucking Dominican. And well, then I would, the only people that look like me in my neighborhood are like the Slavs and Russians. Yeah, that's what to say. If I wore a do rag, people would just be like, look at that fucking idiot <laughs> Russian. Because <laughs> they don't know how to assimilate. If you're going to go, because you're going to need to do a, a fashion makeover, you should go super urban, like large, oversized, fat farm tees, like. Tall jeans, so F- sick. Jabot jeans. Dude. If I started dressing like fucking Biggie Smalls, yeah. or fucking big pun, just like a huge XXL NASCAR jacket with like tons of patches on so it. So sick, dude. You- the NASCAR jackets are the coolest things black guys wear. Hell yeah, dude. Just a fucking M and M's logo NASCAR jacket. Yeah, it's fucking sick. Just giving hell to some fucking Cambodian <laughs> behind the register. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that is funny because the foreigners move to New York. Uh-huh. They look around and see a bunch of because they move to poor neighborhoods. They see black people wearing goofy shit. Yeah, they're like, oh, this is this is how people dress in America. <laughs> so now you're some fucking Cambodian dressed like a fucking idiot <laughs> wearing fubu. Uh, that is funny. That is tight when uh, Southeast Asians, South Southeast Asians are more prone to thugging out. I feel like yeah, they thug out or something. I don't know what it is. The Philippines has mad guns, dude. Duarte, is, Duarte is fucking stopping that, dude. What do you think of the lads, dude? With the the, the lads clothing, the Asian lads? No, just regular lads. We've talked about lad clothing. Yeah, they're they're, they're, the they're tough to pin down. They're dude. the best outfits. Lots of they got a, they, those they, designer jeans. Those like Ed Hardy yeah, jeans. Yeah, dude, <laughs> they're so sick. <laughs> nice fucking like three button like a little polo shirt. The rock polos. Ed Hardy jeans. They'll show up to job. Yeah, they'll show up to a job and like design, African dudes do it too. They'll roll up in like designer jeans, like a polo shirt to work. Like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck are you wearing? They love those jeans with like <laughs> designs on the butt pockets. Well, Do you ever see when an African dude like hits the showers and goes out for the weekend? No. Business cash, dude. Really? Oh, dude, the boys put on the bit. An African dude, they're, they're the funniest motherfuckers. They get out of, <laughs> they take off their work polo and fucking shirt and boots, and they go home. And they put on like sleek dress shoes button down and then like some slick dress pants dude and put a bluetooth in and go out and like oh come, come here come here. And they try to buy <laughs> you and my queen i love you they have so much tea dude they have a that, that tea. much tea you gotta when you go out dude to the hookah if lounge fighting, if you're fighting lions back home oh my and then God. you come over here that tea is in you or even just like fighting like local dictators if you're fighting <laughs> child soldiers with machetes that's yeah, fucking scary you get here you're like finally I can throw on some business cash and hit the hookah lounge dude pussy. fucking grab a chick's ass <laughs> <laughs> fucking sexually assault some ladies dude well, I was gonna have a when, when Gerby needed he was like I, I want like for the sketch I need like an African dude the one guy I was gonna get him uh, the one dude I know I used to work with, his boy... That was me was, hitting you up about that. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, can you fucking scrounge up get some, some African fucking African dudes. When we filmed that, Tires, etc., I was like, it'd be cool if I interacted with African co-workers. Dude, it's, they're so fucking... They they're are, so dude. fucking funny. But the... Uh, yeah, the guy got in trouble because, like, he was working in an apartment complex and was, like, hitting on this chick and just followed her back to her door and she just instantly called the cops and was like, this guy's following me. <laughs> yeah, they'll follow you. But he was just like, no, oh, come on. He was in love, dude. Yeah, dude, he fucking, he dude. He fell in love. Imagine that. You're working in this apartment, you see your fucking queen, dude. You're, like, you're working yeah. there. You're you're fucking, I don't know, you're throwing the, the dust fall shit down and sweeping it up and you see your queen walk in with a little dog and you're like, I must have her. Yeah. <laughs> no, please, you hold, you put, maybe you push the door a little bit, dude. Push the door. Don't open. be scared. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Don't be scared from me. I love you, Queen. But yeah, man, that's uh, they're funny as fuck. To African work with. dudes are. Uh, now I worked with a couple at the. Oh, you're the yeah, garage. You're the I had some garage. motherfuckers. I'm There's see. I've, I've only ever had you. So you worked with like uh, fuck. What's the, what's their name? What's oh. the guy's name from the bad Black Panther guy? He was American. Yeah. What's his name? 
Killmonger. Killmonger. You worked with Killmonger. I, I worked with a couple. I Killmongers. worked with like regal dudes who like it was hit. They hit the prayer mats three times a day. I worked with Muslim black dudes too. But Muslim they, Africans. Were they nice guys? You're saying they're they motherfuckers. Were mean Muslim Africans. Really? No, they were cool. Guys, I, I ended up being friends with all of them. But they're funny as fuck. When it comes dude. to business, we would talk some shit, and their sense of humor sucked so it's, bad dude, that so they f- they thought they were so fucking funny. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they were so unfunny. <laughs> Oh man, but uh, yeah, yeah, bro. That's a sick episode. That was great. Oh hey, August twenty second. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and announce it. Chuck it out. Live podcast Helium Comedy Club Philadelphia. Having us August back. August twenty second, eight twenty two, dude. Wow. What and time's then, that? I don't know yet. TB, I don't, it's not TBA, even on the calendar. TBA. I'm just letting the listeners. So you're breaking in. it here. It's not even on Helium's website yet. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, dude. Eight twenty two. The cat live cast rides, dude. That'd be tight. We need you fuckers to show up too. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I'm there the next three nights with Danny Soder. <gasps> Are you really? Yeah. Dude, that's, dude, last every live cast been Ooh. pretty fucking good. Sup with it. What do you think about making a little comeback, dude? What you talking about? That weekend. What doing a little spot? Maybe host. That would be huge, dude. Yeah, That'd we'll, be sick, dude. We'll run it by him. Do fucking like Sev. Yeah. That'd be so fun. That'd be fun as fuck. I'll try. I'll try see if to, they can handle us, dude. I don't know if they can. They'll see. It'll be interesting. But uh, hey, man, August twenty second live podcast, Helium Comedy Club. If you're not there, dude, don't ever fucking talk yeah, to us man, again, please. If you Jesus don't show up to Christ. that, you fucking suck. C Doc, I know you're coming with, coming through with the, the boys, dogs. dude. The dogs are rolling deep. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, we're gonna not fight with forty year olds this time. Those guys were fucking lame. And, and I'll admit, I got a little shit-faced. <laughs> I was a little fucked up. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking keep that in check this time. No, we're going to... We, we now... We 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 uh we figured that whole thing out. Yeah, don't get fucked up and talk yeah. shit. Don't, <laughs> don't get, say you're going to beat the fuck out of somebody. old pussies. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That was. My sister just listened to that. Really? The second half of that. Dude. It's on the Patreon still. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. So if you if you donate to the Patreon, I think you can listen to that. To the, the second half of the, f- no, no, it's not on there, is it? The only one that's on there is the second half of the first one. We deleted the second half. Totally. Of the live podcast. Yeah. Yeah, it got kind of just ridiculous. Got weird. Those old pussies fucking. The one guy emailed Helium. And one was guy like, I'm fucking sue you. Yeah. Well, and the one guy. All, oh yeah, we had to take it down. Yeah, we had to delete it. We got litigated. Yeah. The one guy. Fucking try to false flag us saying his son died. That was bullshit. That was crazy. I didn't believe it. Brought out old blacked out Tommy Pope as our guest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a fucking shit show. Oh my God. When he started, this guy started talking about his son. I swear to God, the guy was lying. And Tommy said, We weren't even talking about taps. him. And he, we were making fun of this guy. And he goes, Well, my son died. And we're like, Where the fuck? We aren't talking about that. And yeah. fucking Tommy's like half asleep. <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, Stop, dude. Stop, yeah, stop. That was, fuck. That was. Because, yeah, because that was just mean. Yes, because it's like even if the guy he's, he might have been telling the truth, he might have been Sandy Hooking. He might have been Sandy Hooking. You think he's Sandy Hooking? He might have Sandy Hooked it. Think he was a fucking actor? Think he was a crisis he might actor? He was a crisis actor. I don't know. Do you know. think the fucking liberal comics in the city sent a crisis actor to fuck? <laughs> I, up? I think so, dude. <laughs> he was in the back the whole show, and then he I came gotta, up and was like, "My son died in war." And we were still, like, "All right, all right." Okay, I was dude, just dude. talking shit on Penn State football, but yeah, we weren't talking about you. I guess your son died. Then it, then we people started making fun of him. I got pretty people like shut yeah. the fuck up, pussy. <laughs> fucking sick members of Shat oh Nation were like, dude, I'll fuck you up. I wonder. Dude. I gotta check his. Do you have his name still? I'm gonna check his IMDb no. credits to see if he's that uh, just fucking a crisis, crisis actor, actor that yeah. sh- fucking shit on our show. Dude, I mean, so far the live casts have been nuts. They've been fun. They've been real. You fucking tossing sighties in the first one. You got in trouble for that. Second one, they we got in a that. fight with somebody. Yep. Imagine what the third's gonna be. The trilogy. I think third's gonna be definitely Empire Strikes Back. Is that the third one? It's Return of the Jedi. Return. That's what I was thinking. This is the Return of the Jedi, dude. I think we have. I've been I've, up in Dagobah in Queens, fucking studying, becoming a fucking master. That's true. You're, you're more of a Han Solo. I'm more of a yeah. You're I'm just, I'm a just smuggler. walking around. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I am. You're, you're a right. smuggler, dude. As much as I love to think I'm Luke on the mountain, I'm absolutely Han, dude. You're Han, just a fucking charming. Heard that. Happy go lucky, just fucking. Badass, dude. Can't argue with that, dude. I love it. Can't argue with that. God Ooh. damn, dude. Woo! <laughs> 822 is going to be sick. It will be fun. I'm uh, really looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be fun. So come to that or you're fucking definitely, definitely gay. Definitely. And try to look up Sandy Hook Conspiracies because YouTube blocked them, though. <laughs> you can't find them anymore. What do you think that's about? Uh, we'll see. You know the Obamas bought Netflix, right? What? Check it out, bro. The Obamas bought Netflix? Or they're getting really involved in it. Hillary's trying to run Facebook. The Obamas got into the Netflix. 
What? You don't know that? I did not know that. Yeah, man. That explains Nanette and the fucking break with Michelle Wolf. Netflix was supposed to be strictly sci-fi because Stranger Things was going so well. They had another show that was kind of sick. Like, we're going to do all sci-fi, and I think someone from, like, Obama's team got in there and got involved in Netflix. Like, and how about was... just liberal stand-up comedy every day? Yeah, man. Like, I'm telling you, that's that's when it kind of shifted. Mm. And then Hillary was There's saying... A show Hillary said she wants to... She was like... They're like, what would you do if you weren't, like, if you got out of politics? She's like, I'd like to run Facebook. And it's like, all right, you obviously fucking planted this question. She's like, it's just a lot of responsibility, I oh think. Oh, my God. She'd like to run Facebook? Dude, you, never. She's an evil bitch. Holy fuck. She's a... I'm telling I'd you, I'd like man. to get a hold of everybody's personal information. Dude, I mean, Zuckerberg, his share... Who gave his, you this information? It's all, it's all online. Check it out. It's, I know, there's, but it's what, a video. Who the sent Great you Awakening. That? I watched it. That's the... Who gave you this? Great Awakening. What's that? Reddit, sub, uh, subreddit. That's like... The, <laughs> right, that's right, a, that's right. the thing that's saying like against... Like Trump against the deep state, the cabal, the Clinton crime family, dude. It's like... Wow. And I'm like, this shit's too crazy. And then all of a sudden, it's like... I see Hillary being like, I like to run Facebook. And then I see the Obamas are in the fucking Netflix. And I'm like... And that's the other thing, dude. I think they underestimate like now like now like um This is classic con solo talk. Well think so you know how those guys kept getting caught sending like dick pics, those old senators? Because uh-huh. they just the, the technology just went beyond them. And yeah. they're just like They're like, This isn't going to anybody. <laughs> yeah, they're like, It was what like the when fuck? I fucking posted a dick picture on my Snapchat story. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know how it works, so I just was posting dick pics. <laughs> well they what they I don't think realize anymore is now like those autist guys from four you know those guys who found Shia yeah. LaBeouf's flag? Yeah. They're digging into like the Clintons, the, the whole thing, and like you got those guys unleashed, and they're hitting all these. Dude, they're like sending videos. If out. you're an old dude and you don't understand technology, the first thing you do is take a picture of your penis with it. You have to. My dad d- does that with the Alexa. He's like, Alexa, this is my penis. <laughs> That's the one thing. As a man, if you don't understand technology, you gotta step check one, to see how you're hanging. Step one: Does it take pictures of penises? Yeah. Can I post my penis? I didn't realize the iPhone saved deleted pics, and every now and again, oh, I'm just no. taking a dump, be checking in on my flaccid state. And, like, and then like the damn, one day you take I'll, dick pics while you're shitting all the time sometimes I do every now and again if I'm like damn I'm looking fucking nice right now like, <laughs> just it'll be like okay and verify it because you never know from like the angle you're looking and then the one day I went to delete pics and was like Jesus fucking Christ just a bunch of fucking just like fucking <laughs> <What>? <laughs> wait you take dick pics while you're taking shits not all the time I'm saying every now and again if I'm like if I'm hanging nice I'll just be like okay especially in the summer dude the summer cooks exactly. it up you I'll, got a dude, thick bird over today, the summer you know what no one gives you a nice flaccid bird just some hard old American work dude I like every now and again I like to just do some manual labor it just it centers me I like it I'll like go all yeah. day do it just, you know it's just for me it's nice I Man. called you while you were working, dude. I had, dude, you were, I, you were I had in work the, mode. I had the blue. I had uh, my earphones in, so I'm talking. Pure I'm serious. moving, flying. I, was, dude. I called Matt and I was like, "Yo, are we fucking beefing, dude?" Yeah, you, you were in serious mode. There was an, you were like, "What?" <laughs> no, I knew. I knew you were. Ta- I knew you were doing that. But I was also, as I was talking to you, I had. I mean, Spud yeah. gave me a mission, bro. I, I have understand. to get it done. So I understand. I'm, fucking, I'm flying. I buzzed around. I was I'm like, "Yo, come up, China, come up dude. and do the show." You're like, "Can't do it." Can't do it while dude. you're working. It, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like no diplomacy at all. Just full on. Just like no. <laughs> like, all right, all right, cool man. I didn't even realize it. Good to talk to you. In my head, I was just like, oh man, no, I can't. Blah blah. blah. No, I was and like, it, nah, man, not gonna happen. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I was hung over in bed, and I was like, Matt fucking hates me now. Everybody hates me. <laughs> I can tell in my head. I was like, I think Shane's just fucking mad right now from Stan. I thought you were just no. like upset about something. No, I was just hung over. I forgot, I could tell something. I was just, I'm like, I, I like hung up. I'm like, work mode. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, you should have seen what I got done. You should have saw what I got done today. Unbelievable. You painted that Chinese restaurant. <sighs> fucking. I covered up the sins for of those the white motherfuckers. Overlords to take over. Yeah, pretty much. That's a sick move for white people to get into this like ethnic food. And people <laughs> eat it. It's a sick like, move. People are like, it's not authentic. And it's like. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's we fucking. Got, we got 10 fucking zips in the back it's, cooking this up. Shame. What? You're allowed to say zips? You're allowed to be racist to Asians. Yeah, I guess if you you know what you might. Dude, I just watched Vietnam. I wonder if I wonder if slurs eventually, if they become so old, become like folk songs where they're just like total worldwide rights. It's like, no, yeah, they're cool. It's like kraut. It is unfair (laughs) to be able to call a German person a kraut and then not be able to say zip. No, it's it's like because you're just judging them on the color of their skin. If Germans were called zips, you would call a German a zip and be like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't why, it come from like why can't we have white entertainment? Doesn't it channel? come with like running their heads over with like tanks though? That's the rumor, yeah. Zipper, Zipper heads. Head. Yeah, that's mean. That's a mean one. That is a mean one. Damn, that's a brutal fucking picture. All right, dude. Especially let's... when you run their head over and they go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sorry. You have run over my head. <laughs> oh, not a tank. <laughs> not another tank. Oh. Uh, how does my face look? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is gonna blow. <laughs>